Welcome to Mindful Minutes with Musicians, the show where we aspire to inspire. Musicians and artists talking about mindfulness and what brings us through our practice to achieve greater goals. All right. Hi, everyone. Huge thank you for everyone tuning in today to watch this episode of Mindful Minutes with Musicians. And make sure you don't miss an episode. Please subscribe and click on the bell and leave your comments below the video. Today's guest is Brent Kobayashi, the president of online marketing WordPress development and design firm Kobayashi Zeitgeist in Toronto, Canada, uh, who's been helping customers for over 25 years with their sales and marketing while enhancing their brand image strategically and cost effectively. Uh, if you know anyone that needs marketing or sales advice, definitely go to kobayashi.ca and connect with Brent, definitely, uh, and his team. Uh, the, it, he's, he's been into computers since he was young and since then become an expert, expert in his field. Uh, he was the lead organizer. I love that. You're, you are an expert, for sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was the lead uh, organizer in uh, WordPress uh, WordCamp Toronto. Uh, which is a WordPress website creators in 2014 and 2015. He's been involved in digital marketing campaigns uh, that have created huge success in the past year. And his successful podcast called COVID Marketing and Kill the Guru, uh, which has over a thousand subscribers, has helped small business deal with the pandemic uh, not, uh, and how not to just to survive, but thrive. Uh, and now he's here with us today to share his knowledge and his take on mindfulness. Huge welcome to Brent Kobayashi. <laughs> yes. We need a little button there with the roar of the, the, the audience. The audience, yeah. Every, yes, that's all that people get these days. <sighs> right? The, uh, the, uh, the applause now. Yes. Thanks for the intro, man. No it's worries. so good to be here with you. Oh man, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll start off like how how have you been doing? How are you? Um good, okay, fortunate. Um uh and um this is actually a really good thing to do with you. The reason why I say that is because one of the things that has been happening it for me at least is I've been feeling much like so many people I know, the team at the company, um, a weight that seems so strange because, mm -hmm. um, and so mindfulness to me is, is so valuable and so mm -hmm. apropos mm -hmm. for what are so appropriate for what is needed right now or a great tool to be um, in a situation which, quite frankly, um, we're all fine. Like, I know I'm talking to every, like, not 50% of the people that are watching this right now, or 60% or, or 90%. We don't have somebody, we don't have a lion chasing us right now. We don't have, you know, uh, Thankfully, at least, you know, our, our colleagues in, in Canada, we don't have people with guns and explosions going. We don't have right. that sort of thing happening. Yeah, we're not in war. We're not in a... In a we're not, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and the, the majority of, you know, there's obviously very bad things um, uh, happening. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of the world and the population in both space, as in the entire world now, and time, as in time going backwards are really in a good spot and yeah. yet there's the weight mm. there's the feeling of even if it's just on that 20 you know that, that that one mile to the end of the marathon feeling of i don't think i can take another step feeling but i know it's there mm -hmm. feeling of this of of, of our um pandemic Mm -hmm. And so um, the only real answer I have for that uh, in general, other than, of course, go out in nature and all that stuff, but that's all 
oh, becoming aware of what's happening mm -hmm. within your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, not zenning out or piecing out, yeah. but aware. Yeah. So once you're aware, then you now have two processes going where it's one that's like, oh my God, this is the, oh, hey, I see that, oh my God. And then now you've got a little bit of, I don't know. I actually think of it as a little bit of redundancy in the system. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I also see it as like um, you're in, instead of just freaking out, you're, you can like, uh, if you're mindful of that, you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a frantic state right now. I need to either breathe or I need to switch what I'm doing or, you know what I mean? Like the, at least that, that awareness you're able to then, um, work with it and then you know what I mean or at least kind of be you know able to kind of make some sort of swap or change or even you know yeah or it. or be physically aware of it like think of what's going on a roller coaster right now mm -hmm. right there's part of you as it's going up and it's about to go over this deep I remember going to the Behemoth yeah I, I kind of and like you're feel like you're about to die yeah the, a your lot heart, of your everything's saying you're about near, to die yeah. right and what happens is you drop into your body and like oh my god and this is the most and then you you're laughing because it's the most amazing so yeah. i think part of mindfulness isn't necessarily even state change although that can be a result mm -hmm. it is actually being aware of the franticness and saying mm. oh, i'm frantic right now Mm -hmm. and oh look i'm still doing frantic things and then in there because you've got this other redundant system now running this process going i'm just going to go a little bit nonsensical geeky non non neuro hashtag not <laughs> not a only a neuroscientist on the internet um <laughs> but you've got uh, a a a mechanism by which to make a choice almost yeah meaning do i want to continue with that or even to say if i don't want the franticness what do i need mm -hmm. which could be oh, i need to punch it out go running exercise mm -hmm. put away that cup of coffee that uh, for some reason it's my third cup i'm doing today because i feel like i got to get things done like i've got this sudden yeah. need to have something happen yeah and so yes so Thank you so much for having me on this because oh, it, it, it helps me sort of reset myself mm -hmm. because yeah, I mean, in, in this business and a lot of people are thinking, how do I generate? How do I combat the scarcity? Do I let go of things? How do I get back in the system? Do I even want to get back into the system I was in if, if you're, yeah. if you're out? Um, uh, there can be a lot of franticness that builds up. And again, mm -hmm bizarre mind-bending stuff because you you don't have you don't have the lion chasing you and mm -hmm. yet it's there mm -hmm. and you can feel it and you can feel it in other people we vibe with other people right oh yeah i can feel you right now we're we, we got the energy going across the internets right, right? and it feels oh, good yeah right and 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 so but when you go walking outside and you sort of feel that you, know, you saw it on, on I, I didn't really experience it in person, but you, you certainly saw enough reports of it of, you know, somebody screaming at the top of their lungs about somebody wearing or not wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you could say that person is being a jerk or whatever all it is. But the reason why we have a negative reaction to that is because it gets us doing that. Right. Mm -hmm. And we don't yeah. want that. We're already feeling that enough. We're very triggered by that right now. Yeah. And so therefore the anger that might come out, you idiots, you should be wearing a mask. You shouldn't, all of that just comes out in a direction that's unhealthy and mindfulness bar none across mm -hmm. everything, except for maybe not worrying about mindfulness, but just pure, I don't know, exercise. Like, cause that mm -hmm. forces you into mindfulness, whatever yeah. I think it does for me at least yeah. um, is, is so the fact that you started this and you've continued, I've been watching, um, is amazing. And I think it's a service to the world. I think um, connecting with, with musicians uh, on, on something that's important to you, mm -hmm. um, it's just brilliant. I'm going to 
keep going, man. I yeah, and I also I I really I I like um that I've not just like it's not just musicians, you know what hmm. I mean? That I've done like I've done, am I the, I've got am I the first? I'm not the first non-musician. No, no, you're not. The oh, I've okay. had I've had a tap dancer on. I've had uh, nice. a film a filmmaker. Um, I've yeah, it's it's been a, a, the one of the last uh, one before a uh, few prior to this one was uh, my old high school teacher, who oh, brilliant. Uh, who is retired and is writing an autobiography and brilliant. has so much to share. You know, so mm. it's. Uh, there, it's been it's been an amazing process and i think um you know just yeah just like it just like things like this is great you know what i mean and um yeah, yeah i, I oh, know it's, just just amazing that you're bringing this into the world that you're showing up for the world i love it that's what yeah. i feel this is yeah yeah it, it's funny that you say um uh, a marathon and like where you know mm -hmm. you feel like you might be at the last leg of this marathon and it's and it's funny because like it, it is a marathon because at this point we we're still we're still running we're still in this race or in this whatever's mm -hmm. going on and uh, it, it's it's funny because like there's there's those moments where you're like oh, okay now I've seen you can see the finish line or something like mm -hmm. that whereas ne we're we're not there yet we're still we're still in that process we're we're you know yeah in this in this and in this you know. Totally yeah. get it. And I see people, oh. of course, breaking stride. I have broken stride. I'm just like, yeah. oh, fuck, I can't do this. And so yeah. the, 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 the uh, emotional rationalization jumps in and like, oh, blah, blah. and then you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's just a bit longer, everybody. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, yeah. 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 It's, 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 a, it's an interesting yeah. journey and even we're on. Giving yourself that time to reevaluate and re, mm -hmm. re, negotiate with yourself what you're what you're willing to do and and what you're you know um you know what you are doing and what you know like what you can do or even yeah you know researching these things or you know kind of that kind of stuff you know like i like that a lot giving yeah. yourself permission to evaluate and renegotiate with yourself because sometimes we don't do that yeah because sometimes, sometimes we like, think it needs to be a certain way and then we f start feeling yeah. feeling something or i have to i just got to do it i you know and yeah. you, you don't have to do anything really like you no, no. it's it's yeah i i know this this year's been super difficult and i can only imagine running a small business with the amount of the changes and uh, you know uh everything like that how how's that been like i i think it's been it's been uh it's been i would say this past year has been the best year of my business life amazing bar none yeah bar none um I know, I know like being part of that uh covid marketing mm -hmm. show um and and if you haven't seen it and who anyone's watching definitely go and check that out uh i it was it like there's a lot of information there throughout 107 136 episodes yeah. so 136 i think 137 uh over the last year we were doing yeah. it uh daily at the beginning yeah um and then tack on a few kill the gurus mm -hmm. so i think we got up to 140 150 in the last year it was yeah it was just the just just being a part of that and like it wasn't just a good experience for me and it wasn't just helpful for me it was a help for like you know tons of people that were watching and experienced it and you know you had your your regular viewers and you know and all that you know it was <laughs> It was amazing yeah. to yeah. to to have people who saw value in it and came most every single time. Mm -hmm. That that to me was was like, oh, okay, we're 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 getting to something. Um, and uh, don't overplay it. So, and the reason why I say don't overplay it is because um, a lot of conversations. And I just get into a little bit of philosophy here on this stuff, but a lot of conversations are about, oh, the success, you did this show and you got up to a thousand subscribers and, and people came back regularly and they say that they love it. And the answer is, yeah, some of that, mm -hmm. but keep in mind, two or three people were watching at one time. Mm -hmm. We got up to a thousand subscribers because we advertised, right? So we mm -hmm. even advertised 
and promoted and promoted. Yeah. And, and when I say advertised, meaning the subscribers that we got weren't necessarily organically engaged, like, oh my gosh, this is amazing content. So a few people did, which is a real blessing because that gives you energy to keep, you know, it gives you some energy, not necessarily mm -hmm. to keep going, but gives you energy. Mm -hmm. The key triumph of that year with, with all of that was essentially two things. One really was just doing it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, uh, and, and this, the end of that just doing it, learning how to be on camera, to have conversations, yeah. to do a better job of articulating a concept and a thought. And not all of them, mm -hmm. like a lot of them didn't turn out great. Yeah. In fact, from the advertising, literally, um, it was about a month ago, I was so delighted when this happened. We had this little spot, I was giving, I don't know, a little philosophy about, you know, stop trying or just needing to try. Yeah. And I really actually liked the spot. It was like seven minutes. And we put it up on an ad. And the, the response that we got, we didn't get we didn't get very many comments throughout the year. Some of them were, were great, some of them, but this one was, this is horrible, so pretentious, and you're doing it as an ad, not a good look for an advertising agency. Right? Really like yeah. actually had dug in and saw yeah, like, like, just like, holy cow, you're very invested yeah. in this. Yeah. Um, and to me, that was just absolutely ridiculously delightful because that's right. the whole purpose of what that show was about was to engage with the world engagement. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so when you engage with the world with any kind of stuff, especially when, you know, you're no longer, you know, oh, my gosh, this nine year old kid. Wow. He's so amazing. Look how he's doing. Like, go, go, kid. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the only people that were saying yay in, in that sense um, uh, were some friends. Oh, you're mm -hmm. doing this thing. That's great that you're doing your thing. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the people had to evaluate it on their terms, whatever their terms were. Um, my creative strategist, I tell this story all the time. She saw the show in the first month and, and said, this is abysmal. Never let a client see it. Yeah. Right. And so, I mean, and I think this is probably relevant. This is probably something that, you know, musicians and artists and the people you're talking about go through all the time. Yeah. When am I ready to publish? Mm -hmm. And when the pandemic hit and I saw what was happening and I saw what I thought we could possibly bring into the world, some inspiration and action, and we did achieve that for some people. Um, uh, I was just decided we need to live by our philosophy of you're ready to publish now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. legitimately ready to publish now for yeah. two reasons. One is, of course, you're going to go through your practice. And as soon as you publish, your mind changes, you evaluate that published material very differently. Yeah. Right. So it, it changes your creative process and my belief, at least in my experience with the own, whatever I've created and published. Um, and of course, you learn what that means to you, the tumultuous, the stuff that's judgment versus discernment of does this work does this not work mm -hmm. right there's you know when you're creating something it's like is that quite right is that quite right no i think i'll do it this way this you know this isn't quite what i'm trying to like, do I, I could tweak it i could do yeah yeah i mean and that's all good you're that's part of the creative process that's why yeah. when that's why when you know my daughter draws something she isn't just like blah, 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 blah. she's like i think this should be like this right mm -hmm. so there's a there's that process but then that gets accelerated and compounded with the judgment of what's going to happen when I publish. And now your rationalization of this isn't quite right is really not coming from your perception of the thing that you're doing, but your perception of what other thing, people think of it. So for me, it was get past that, mm -hmm. right? Get into, I'm just going to publish. We're just going to publish. We're going to figure out we had this whole thing each day or every prime number episode. We're going to do one incremental thing better, all of that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so there was that part of the process. And then there was the other part, which is uh, so true these days is nobody's paying attention. Nobody here is JLo. Yeah. Even JLo, if she were to publish the raw stuff would be like everybody would be like amazing, but nobody is sitting there going, boy, that really sucked. I think I hate this person and I'm never going to engage with them ever. They're not going to remember three months from now, three months, yeah. six months after you've done it a bunch of times and you're good. All they're going to remember is, oh yeah, I kind of saw them before. 
Mm-hmm. Nobody. I mean, the guy, even the guy that left that message of embarrassing for an agency, mm-hmm. he saw our video again in three or six months or one month. The only thing, if he remembered that he even left the comment, might be, oh, geez, you guys have gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. The oh, only they, thing. Yeah, they made some changes or, or yeah. whatever, yeah. right? Or I still don't like them. Yeah. yeah. Right? But you're, you're, you know, the other thousand two thousand ten thousand people if we were to stop and try to get all that, that stuff right we just wouldn't do it we didn't have the time i was running mm-hmm. a freaking business in the middle of a pandemic with all of our clients saying oh my gosh we can't spend any more money on advertising and doing and and, and putting energy in it to reverse the trend mm-hmm. um yeah so it came down to if we don't just go live and uh, we're just not going to communicate with anybody if we yeah. if, if we're trying to get it right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I've I've actually had a couple episodes um, on mindful minutes where um, the 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 like a mindfulness um, like maybe technique or something like that that kind of um, propels people or, or uh, um, encourages people is this just do it kind of mm-hmm. um, you know. Attitude, or you know what I mean. That mm-hmm. basically, like, and I and I I was listening to something that says um, that your mindset, even if you even if you just do something and and you fail at it right off the bat, um, your mind is like, you know what? I, I'm actually happy because I, I I like created that process, like started that process, and that mm-hmm. first failure is maybe a trip up or something like that. But it's not. It's not. That's not the whole the whole race you know what i mean like uh and uh i you know you're you you actually become um kind of uh, more excited about the process just because mm-hmm. you are already started the process and you're like oh well you know i've already started now so i you know yeah it's yeah it's it's um so i love bringing mindfulness into that because to me yeah it, it is the just do it like forward motion action is what actually changes things in the world um and and getting to that place of i actually within the company people kind of roll their eyes i think some people are starting to really get onto it especially if i'm able to do it um which is that celebrate mistakes Mm -hmm. which is not just like oh yeah i'm learning yay I'm, i'm gonna celebrate because now i know what not to do it's literally yes that didn't work so amazing like really um and so i I like getting to that place and i do think the journey to there is just to go back to mindfulness is taking that action observing the reaction and the thoughts and whatever it is that shows up when whatever it is that happens you know the person i get five likes Oh, it's not enough. I get a hundred likes. Um, now I have to do something that's just as good uh, or whatever it is that's showing up for you, positive or negative, mm-hmm. allows you to grow, especially if you can accept what's showing up with you negative from a place of, we'll call it consciousness. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's like, oh, for some reason, when I do this, this thing shows up and all of us have it because all of us went through very similar journeys. Mm-hmm. Majority of us have, have it. And, you know, it all went from whatever. We're absolutely the best thing in the entire universe. A lot of us had that experience at a certain age mm-hmm. to wait a second, we're not able to do things quite yeah. right. Yeah. To, oh my God, I'm going to this big school and there's hundreds of kids and and when i say something they laugh at me or whatever it is so i better not do that that way mm-hmm. right and so we we do we and you know it's self, very common become self-conscious and this type of yeah like yeah. you you start to internalize external yeah. feedback yeah and so now at this point in this day and like especially in this day and age Right. I mean, part of, okay. So there was a third success with, 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 um, with, uh, COVID marketing. 
and it was once daily or three times a week or however many times we were doing i got to do my monster truck voice welcome to COVID, or whatever it was right yeah. that i decided it was going to be that day yeah. and you know that stuff works yeah and the reason why it works is because it's the opposite of oh i have to be very polished here i have to do this because that's what we did when we were kids we did monster yeah. truck voices when we were kids man. you did that you did the crowd <gasps> yeah know. holy yeah. cow did you see that and, and you know you see kids they're, you're playing with a little toy car or a toy dinosaur and it's real and so yeah. somehow and this is why i you know uh, all the respects to the talented artists out there. I, I really expect and hope that there's going to be a banner time where everybody wants live music. They want to go to restaurants with live bands, all that kind of stuff happening. Mm. Um, and there's a roaring 20s again. Um, because that expression, that self-expression that happens is, is alive. Yeah. And so I got to feel it. Yeah. I just got to feel it and do it. And some people thought it was great. Some people thought I waved my hands around too much, whatever. It didn't matter yeah. because it was, um, a it was a release on you. On yeah. Your because end. I was, a, I was, I was now yeah. basically the, the it's, it's the freedom of being a kid. Yeah. Right. As, as we think about it, yeah. um, which is people you know, look at them, shoot, that kid's doing crazy things. And isn't that great. Right. Yeah. Um, and as adults, sometimes we don't respond well to that because you see in yourself, if I were to do that, I could get hurt or judged or whatever it hurts. Mm -hmm. And therefore, part of the person, I actually believe this, part of the reason why, um, especially friends and family, maybe more so, I, I got a little bit of that. Be like, jeez, mm -hmm. okay, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, somebody's going to yell at you or somebody's yeah. going to think you're an idiot or somebody's going to laugh at you or kick you out of the club at school or whatever it is. Yeah, there's just that. It, and it's not even necessarily. Con it's just there's a feeling. That's yeah. why literally when my creative strategist said your show is abysmal. I hope none of our clients see it like none of our clients can see this because yeah. they'll um, and that was like, yeah, you're, you're right. If this was going on primetime TV. Yeah. Because that's what she was used to doing, TV commercials and stuff like that versus yeah. it's okay. Even if our clients saw it, they would like think, no, you're, lots of this company is a little bit wacky. But, um, but then, but then like even there, like um, there's a bit of like um, uh, not um, reality or personability. Like there's, there's like, a, a, you know, a, everyone fails. So to, to see someone fail, you're like, you know what? I, I, I can see that you know that at least they were you know willing enough to have that you know out there and have that you know what i mean be seen and come you know comfort you know like are confident in them in that you know that cho choice or even if they weren't confident they, it's still there like it's you know what i mean and they're still able to share that and yeah you know. i i think um where uh and this is not a reason to stop where um, sometimes it, you can feel that it's challenging is we all like we were talking about the energy we all vibrate so if somebody is like publishing and they're really nervous mm -hmm. um that might resonate with the person watching right and that can come out in different ways like oh you're doing such a great job and wanting to encourage mm -hmm. or you got you suck like this is really is, yeah like, because or really like ah, i don't like this feeling of nervousness that you are now making having me and so it's, yeah you know i'm projecting all the horror that's about to happen on or that happened on me onto you type of thing so there can be some of that so i you know um it, you know they say stand-up comedy is one of the most challenging ones because when mm -hmm. before until you get really super comfortable with the fact that people are going to hate you or could, right? That your jokes are just going to be really sucky. Mm -hmm. And then you just start rolling with it. And you're like, okay, you know, it's just not funny to watch mm -hmm. somebody be uncomfortable. Oh, I've, I've you can seen, say, oh, good for you doing it, but yeah. it's just not, you know. I've seen many, many uh, a stand up open mic 
you know, where mm -hmm. people are trying it out and, and, you know, sometimes it doesn't work and you don't get the laughs and, you know, and then there's other nights where you might come back and try, you know, something slightly different and all of a sudden everyone's on that same page. You know what I mean? Like there's... For sure. And you're going to have uh, a whole range of people in the audience and the ones that speak up and comment might be the ones that go, oh, God, that feels gross. Mm -hmm. um, versus, yeah. gee, you did it. Wow. Amazing. It's, this yeah. kind of like links up to the next question I have. Mm. It's like, I love your energy and your outlook and <laughs> stuff like that. And I've got to see a lot of it like working together. Mm. And, and it's inspired me. It's actually inspired me to create this podcast. Amazing. Uh, but how would you say you keep yourself in a positive state or like, how would you suggest to mm. people who might be struggling with um, that positivity? You know, like, so um, I actually have this written on my wall. I said, do not resist. Um, and Amazing. Uh, so one of the things that I kind of wonder if this is, uh, the truth of the universe with, you know, if you, like, if I were to push at you, doesn't matter how well intentioned, I could be pushing you out of the way of a bus. If I were to come at yeah, you and push, you'll resist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, um, and if I need something to be, like, if I need to be in a positive state, I hate my negative state. Um, you are going to probably miss out on the opportunity to have the result of a positive state. Mm -hmm. So they talk about money's not a goal, it's a result. I'd actually almost say a positive state is not a goal, it's a result. Yeah. So if yeah. I am feeling horrible, and trust me, this is not necessarily a, a common practice for me. It's more a common practice than it used to be. Um, uh, it usually means there's something for me to to work mm -hmm. through, to heal, to feel, mm -hmm. to express, to move the, out of my body. Um, I was taught I that, that. Uh, uh, emotion is energy in motion. Mm -hmm. So if I'm really feeling something, then move it through. Um, uh, even so far as to, to like if I'm angry at somebody mm -hmm. um, to work through a process by which you actually express the all the anger you fucking asshole you da -da 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 -da. Yep. and then get it expressed not directly to them because that's yeah. not healthy right that is actually what causes a lot of harm but just move it um, mm -hmm. and then to once express you, your ex, 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 yeah. express your frustration you know yeah, yeah. Hit, hit a pillow or whatever it is um, scream into a pillow. I've done that. Um, and then, and then start to, um, do things like if it's anger that you're feeling, what's their point of view? What was my part to play in this? Mm -hmm. What do I want? That's different. It's the, the, it, the reevaluation process where you're like, yeah, right, I'm going to yeah. think about what the, what's happened and yeah. kind of, analyze it and you know kind of really think about the outcomes and all of that stuff and yeah. and and you bring you start to bring love into the equation where you weren't mm -hmm. necessarily and now having said that i tend to skip to that part mm -hmm. ah mm, okay it's okay all that kind of stuff i tend to not do the expressing part Mm -hmm. um and which usually just means it kind of gets pushed a little bit deeper um then you get start to build up a little bit of resentment and a little bit more hair trigger against the situation or the person yeah um so the way i've really managed to where i managed to navigate well is when i've been a lot more expressive with what i'm feeling Mm -hmm. um often just myself um and just yeah you know, see it with kids they'll cry and cry and cry and then they're okay yeah that yeah. sort of thing yeah we, um so we, i you let that out like it's yeah yeah and it, it's very different than taking that balloon of stuff and pushing it down and saying i'm positive damn it 
I'm going to just yeah. hold this all down and be positive. And you know what? I'm so fortunate. I've got lots of gratitude going on here. I'm really grateful that, wow, look at those people in Syria. I'm really grateful. And I know I kind of feel this sometimes, but I'm really grateful and I should be grateful. And then you start getting to the needs. I should be, I need to be. Mm -hmm. um, and then that can, I think that can, especially with something with the longevity of, of a lot of what it feels like we're going through mm -hmm. that can just wear us down. And yeah. Um, so I've, I've done some of that. And so I'm really tired and fed up and want to be in a mosh pit. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I surrounded by people with elbows being just in there. Yeah. Oh. Knocking me in the face and yeah. All sorts uh, of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's um. yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a tricky one. It's um, it's yeah. I it it's funny. I I, I heard um, I heard something. Uh, it's it's funny. It's a Wiz Khalifa little quote, and I I thought that was it was cute. And it was uh, if you're gonna impress anybody, impress yourself. Mm. And I was like, that's that's it. Like you know what I mean? You're like you're 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 in there. You're, you know you're not in there you're not in this world to go around and impress everyone else if they are impressed great but if not that you you know like at least at the end of the day that you are pleased or happy or you know what i mean like that's you know that those are the you know i love that i take it one step further and i just say and be impressed with yourself because mm -hmm. no matter what no matter what, everything that you've done in the past made sense. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it. Yeah. I, right. You you might have felt yeah. conflicted about it, but then you made that choice and you did it. So yeah. everything in the past actually makes sense. You might not understand what's underneath and why you reacted that way or why that came out of you, but it did. So I would say actually give yourself a look back and say, "Wow, you just did that. Wow." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, geez. When you when you yelled at your kids there, boy, were you ever holding a lot together? Wow. You were, yeah. You, you know, you were really trying to make it work there, and I know that you didn't like, and I know that that didn't have, and I know you wish you hadn't done that. And and by the way, it's so amazing that you wish you hadn't have done that, and you wanted you want to to make this. That you wow. were aware. That you were aware. Of, yeah. yeah. Like this is not not being accountable and saying oh whatever but instead of being like oh you suck it's like holy cow somehow that came out yeah. and i know you don't want it to come out that way i'm so impressed with you yeah so i would say yes impress yourself but be impressed yeah yeah we're 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 all going through uh, a, a a long journey uh, yep. with ourselves you know and and i think mm -hmm. that you know the it, it's you know it's not just um it's not just going through it but it's like kind of um propelling yourself you know what i mean as far as like you know like you know i i'm i'm all right you know what i mean i i did you know achieve this and i did you know go through that and mm -hmm. even though i had this setback or you know what i mean i was still able i to had this setback yeah. i did this thing that i feel yeah. horrible about whatever it is yeah like literally uh, and it, it, you know you're, you're gonna feel it sometimes and you're not gonna feel it other times depending at least that's how it works for me Mm -hmm. but literally like okay so i have had times where i had the nice voice holy cow wow yeah. oh yeah that was really challenging you really did a good job like i know you don't think that sometimes but you really did a good job yeah like you know and all, like all of it mm -hmm. um I think, and yeah. yeah i think we can be our own worst critics sometimes and so i think that definitely sure. you know plays into it and i think just being at least mind like mindful of that you know what i mean and being like mm -hmm. you know what you know i i am critiquing myself in a way where you know i'm i am not i have not made the perfect whatever but it but you know at least there is that that the that process you know yeah um i don't know i i i feel like i i, I feel like it 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 can go way deeper than that i think it can go to the opposite of the i literally believe that it can get to the level or at least i experience it get to the level 
where when you look at yourself and your own actions and your own life, you literally have in your own head that parent that's looking at that yourself as that kid who took that step and fell down and had that such enthusiastic joy of, oh my gosh, you are like the best thing in the world. Yeah. Like that was extraordinary, brilliant that you just stood up and then fell back on your butt. Yeah. This is like, you, you know, that you, you can imagine it, right? This parent is sitting there going, Whoa. the entire universe is now this person who is epic beyond belief. And yeah. they stood up, they tried to walk and they fell. Yeah. And I do believe that that's actually a state that um, with some, sometimes a little bit of work, sometimes a little bit of practice, sometimes a bit of healing mm -hmm. that um, anybody can get to where you're just like, yeah. oh, holy cow, you guys are so amazing. Wow, you really yeah. are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And not even bragging amazing. It's just like, you just are right. You're spirit. You're an entity. Yeah. Just the, that that step kind of thing. Yeah. That literal step. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And, every sing and every single one of them. Right. Yeah. Every single every single step along the way, whatever yeah. that step happened to be, including the ones where you're like, I'm not going to do that one again. <laughs> yeah. Eek. All right. I need to apologize for that one. But again, like that becomes a learning experience, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you know, like that that adds to the wealth of knowledge and you know, totally, you know, kind of totally. Now I know how to navigate this entire world a little bit better. Yeah. I know how to navigate my universe, my internal universe, a little bit better. Because right. oops, darn it, I lost my temper. Yeah, I I said something that hurt. Yeah, um, whatever it is. This yeah the the. the what kind this kind of leads into the the next question is what kind right. of uh things or activities do you do to uh get yourself in a more productive or positive mind space uh mm. or in order to like to spark that creativity or or whatever like that yeah so so first i'll tell you that um for about a month and a half or two months um it literally was I can't get up. I'm going to watch YouTube videos for two or three hours. Uh, I'll get out of bed because I know the rest of the team's coming online and therefore I should be there and I should be working. Um, and the only time that the actual creativity and spark and energy, which now would, would feel a little bit freaky is I'd have a cup of coffee and I'd be like, oh, this is it. I'm good. And I know when I've seen this happen before with me in the past, when I stop eating and all that kind of stuff and it, my, my world kind of shrinks down to a few hours of coffee based productivity, I'm depressed. Like I know that I am actually, mm -hmm. actually going through stuff because I stopped supporting myself. I stopped drinking water as much. I stopped mm -hmm. being conscious with my food. Um, and the only thing that, then what brings me out of that is um, when I kind of recognize it, first of all, no. all right, we're doing being, this again. Being aware, yeah. Yeah, being aware is first part of it. Being willing now to change or yeah. willing to do something different. Yeah. Um, uh, it really helps if I'm not beating myself up for it in the slightest. It's like, yeah. Okay. So, and then usually I go into my body a bit. What am I feeling? Oh, I've got this really low grade level of whatever i don't terror is not the right word but something something mm -hmm. doesn't feel quite right mm -hmm. accepting that feeling because usually my actions that i'm doing and decisions i'm making not really conscious are based off of some sort of underlying yucky feeling so i'm trying to not feel that yucky feeling which is why watching three hours of youtube in the morning feels like the right decision because i don't know you don't want to feel the yucky feeling <laughs> um yeah and then starting to introduce drink water the first thing I wake up, great. Go to bed on time, you know, go to bed earlier, great. Mm -hmm. uh, walk the dogs instead of letting them just pee on the floor, great. Just slowly layering on a little bit of structure. Yeah. Um, again, for me, this is how it works. Some people I think 
say, oh, shit, I recognize it. Now it's time for having some discipline. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably the thing that's worked the best has been um, just saying, you know what? I, I am going to go out to the ravine. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to sit there and be sad. Just listen. Yeah, just listen to the water yeah. and yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to feel sad. I'm going to sigh a little bit and uh come home and that's okay i'm not i'm also letting go of this sort of this is a a big one letting go of this need to i'm doing this to get to somewhere because that can compound things Uh, it's just like if you start feeling guilty about feeling guilty or judging your judgment that you you are being afraid of fear Uh, these things all can kind of enter compounds yeah yeah yeah, compound exactly yeah um and i think actually the funny the most interesting thing was it switched and this is probably the awareness part when i told my general manager i'm actually depressed right now when i actually spoke with somebody about it Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, it was no longer in me. It now becomes. It's like publishing. It's like freaking publishing your song or your video or your your show. It's like, yeah. What when it's in you? It's like all of these different possibility. Like you're just really entwined with it. Could once be, you publish be, it, yeah. once you say, "Hey, I'm feeling this way." Yeah. Oh, I get to see. Yeah, I actually believe you get to see it. Mm-hmm. Like right now, we're on, whatever potentially billions of people can watch this yeah you know depressed and um uh it's it's a way of getting it outside of you yeah um so i think it's brilliant uh to communicate whether it doesn't have to be with the world yeah (laughs) Um, it can be yeah you know who cares I think just communication, just like uh, yeah. like letting um, letting your voice be heard, whether it is even just to yourself, like um, yeah, and or if it's to someone you trust or just you know what I mean, like that. For it, sure, it could be on an, any level type thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, my son and I just watched Bo Burnham's uh, oh. special recently, Inside. Don't don't. Uh, don't I won't. Ruin. I won't spoil it. But I want to watch it. Yeah, it, it's really on point with what we're just talking about. Yeah, really, really on point with it. So yeah, whether it, I mean, it's why there's helplines. It's why yeah. um, uh, I I think I mean uh, I started going to therapy this past year. So best thing I, I ever. Yeah, yeah best. Yeah, it's so like I. you know, and so on a very regular basis in a structured way. Yeah, it's kind of like working out. It's like. I am now going to communicate about stuff that, I mean, listen, Yeah. Uh, and I'm sorry, we do have to stop because I have a three o'clock, but okay. listen, I stopped crying and feeling emotions when I was a teenager because it made sense. I needed to get through the school day. And if I was feeling all the things about my parents and my mom and you know, cancer and all sorts of stuff at that time. Like, yeah. no, nah, I would fall apart. I wouldn't get. So you do to get through our day. We do say this thing ain't helpful for me right now. Yeah. I'm I'm here with David, right? And this is actually a little bit easier, right? But I'm here with my team, or I'm doing this job, or whatever it is. And and you know what? Right now is not the time for me to to fully out, express out, really sure. the, yeah. the void and the despair in my heart with this whole situation and i can't hug people or whatever it is right yeah and so you know uh, uh i actually believe like therapy is 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 like um, a steady state it's like yeah something that allows you to, even allows you an opportunity to come back to self yeah to return to self and say all right all the things that i kind of put into these compartments yeah let's come out and play a little bit so I can get a little bit lighter and, and regain my energy. So it's not being poured into that. And so totally. with just, that, you're able to open the bottle, you know, and exactly just let that out and, and let the fizz out. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I like that. So, so I, don't yeah, I have overflow. to apologize. I haven't been paying attention to the time because this has been really you. I just got to give you a lot of props. You're a phenomenal interviewer. Thank you. Um, it I it wouldn't it wouldn't 
be here without you right now. So I, uh, I appreciate so you being around and, um, yeah, I, I, I think we'll, we'll conclude here. And I, I just, okay. I, I really appreciate this. Let me just pop this open and I'm going to, I'm going to do the outro music. You got some outro music. Yes. Awesome. So here we go. Thank you so much for this. No worries. Thank you for being here. My uh, pleasure. And let's uh, set this up. Dude. Did my computer a second? For those who are listening, you need to talk to David for his intro and outro music. He did him for my show. Amazing. Um, he's a really talented dude. Just hit him up. And anytime. All right. My computer is really uh, not liking me right now. So. Not not enjoying. Your computer is reflecting and being mindful. It's right taking now. a it's moment to. In. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, it's not resisting. It's going with it. It's understanding. You know what? I, I'm making a mistake right now. That's okay. I'll get there. Thank you for tuning in to Mindful Minutes with Musicians. Yes. For more information about my guest and the topics of the show go to blackmoremedia.ca and connect with us on all social media platforms. Welcome to the MMWM family, where we aspire to inspire. See you soon. That's, that's it. We're uh, here to aspire to inspire, and that's hopefully what we did. And yeah, I... Uh, really appreciate you being here and really appreciate you taking the time and everything and thank you so much thank you david such a pleasure